Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update. My name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Uh, welcome to my updates where I tell you about the work that I've been involved with this week. Um, but before we get into the actual work, um, let me give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of my sponsors. Um, the sponsors are the people who subscribe to me on Patreon or LibrePay or buy me coffee sometimes um, and they help fund the work that I do on Inkscape. Um, if it wasn't for you, I really wouldn't be able to spend the amount of time that I do on Inkscape. So thank you so much. Um, you really are investing in the future. Um, okay, so let's get into the actual work. Um, a couple of bugs to start off with. One is uh, I fixed an issue. I'm just going to pull it up because I forgot. Um, where if you had two uh, items that were in two different layers and you tried to move them into one of the either or all layers, um, they wouldn't. It would just stop and it wouldn't even warn you. Um, that's fixed, so you can actually move them around, which is good. Fixed a bunch of crashes in uh, ungrouping and masking, uh, which was causing some problems with unrefs. Um, this, sh this fixes about four or five reported issues. Uh, which is always good when you have a bug fix that can actually like fix a bunch of stuff. Um, I think the majority of the fixes was because I actually put in a lot of cleaning code, a uh, bit of refactoring up, um, which is always great to, to, to see. Um, so those are, the, those are the bug fixes. The Most of my work this week was spent continuing on what I was doing last week, which is the uh, Shape Builder tool. Um, now, I'd done the rebasing... I've done the cleaning so like we had the functionality up to the standard that uh, the Google Son of Code student had it and then this week I was basically refactoring his code further into sort of like a workable state and um, there wasn't a lot of code left once the refactoring had finished um, this actually made me kind of sad because um, I wanted to retain as much of the student's code as possible. Um, but what we ended up with was sort of like the bones were still there, but a lot of the functionality uh, as it was implemented was implemented in a way that was um, unworkable. Like it, it causes a lot of crashes to do the shape builder in the way that it was being done. Um, so I had to rewrite almost all of it. And um, yeah. <sighs> I, I I want to like reach out to the student and be like and apologize to them. Um I'm hoping that they had a good education at least. Like they learned a lot from being involved in the Google Summer of Code project. Um but hey, at least we do get to have a shape builder tool. Uh and I do want to show it off because it's really kind of cool. I spent probably too much time um late last night finishing it off so I could show you something. Um, so what we have is we would what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release the like the basic shape builder and then we're gonna add functionality to it later. I think that's the best way to to do this. Um, these features can spiral out of control sometimes. So quite simply, it takes your shapes, it fractures them in, into bits, you drag the mouse over the places where you want to keep the shapes, uh, you hold down shift or alt. The designer hasn't said which uh, we should have um, to delete parts of the shapes. And then you either switch tools or you press enter to confirm and the shape gets built into a hole. And then you go and continue on with your day. Um, it works really fluidly. It works with B-splines. It works in the canvas without creating XML entities until you're completed. Um, there are still some tweaks. There are still some bugs. Um, many of the features uh, that were uh, fixed by BPS, I had an administrative error where I accidentally deleted his code, so I had to spend some time bringing that back. Uh, sorry, BPS. Um, but his code works really, really well. It improves the number of the errors that we're getting from the fracturing pro process, which is great. Um, but I'm really excited by the results that we've actually managed to produce, especially the stability of it. Um, that's the really key thing is that like you have a feature and the code uh, is going to be maintainable. It's going to last in Inkscape for the next, you know, 10, 20 years. 
um, that it's going to be, be able to be built upon. Uh, that's really what I'm excited on. This is maybe a programmer's thing, but like programmers get really, really uh, happy when there's a piece of code that they feel is uh, well crafted. Um, that's kind of the feel I get. I get from this new shape builder code code base. Um, we had a little te test of it la last night, which was great. Um, okay, so that's what I've been up to. Let's get into some of the features and fixes in Inkscape that uh, I wasn't involved with. Um, we got a bunch of things. So PBS has been continuing some clean cleanup work. Uh, Mike has merged his uh, dock widths fixes, basically trying to make sure that it remembers how wide the docks are when you save Inkscape so that every time you load Inkscape, it doesn't like resize them. Um, uh, there was also some pattern uh, editing so that when you change patterns settings in the pattern editor, the nodes on the can canvas actually up were up to date. Um, that's mostly for the rotation and tes tes tessellation of patterns. Um, there was um, this was an older uh, code that hadn't been merged yet, but we got it merged. It's Matthew Wahili. I'm so so sorry. Uh, mispronouncing names is the thing. It's a it, he added a code style option to copy verbatim. So instead of copying the style as it appears, it copies basically whatever's in the actual style tag and whatever's in the class tags. This is very very helpful if you're doing like web work. Um, it's a great additional fe feature, and I'm so sorry it took us a year to, to mer merge it in. Um, we're usually not that slow. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, there's an, also another one about uh, uh, um, SVG image links that are that are nested that was fixed. Uh, and that was fixed by Mike Loughton. Um Thank you, all of these Matthews and Mikes. Um, but so that's about it for this week. Uh, thank you for jo joining me. Uh, I apologize if I seem a little tired. Um, I didn't get a lot of sleep. I wanted to get up and shoot this video for you guys so that I could get out in time. Um, but let me know what you think. Let me know what you think I should be working on next. Um, we probably still have some more time to go on this fe feature, but uh, yeah, we're getting into the home stretch for the autumn season. So um, yeah. See you all next week.